Okay everybody, this video is going to be about how to simplify algebraic expressions. The first thing I want to do is write down some things that are called terms and give you just a little bit of vocabulary. All right, every single one of these that I wrote down is an example of a term. Now you'll notice that every one of these terms has some kind of a number associated with it. The number associated with each one of these terms is called the coefficient of the term. I want to write down the coefficient of every one of these terms, but I'm noticing that a couple of these terms don't have numbers on them. So for example, this term is called 15y, and this term is called 11xy. This term is just called x. So what's the number on that term? Well, it turns out that there is a 1 associated with that term there. Remember that 1 times anything is just itself. We typically don't like to write that one in there because it's just a waste of time. But if you don't see a number on a term, its coefficient is just 1. Likewise, the coefficient of negative a is negative 1 because we can think of this as just negative 1 times a. Okay, I'm going to write down the coefficients. All right, so there's the list of coefficients associated with each term. And just a little bit more vocabulary. This x, this y, this x, this y, this a, this b, this x, which happens to be squared. Those are all called variables. One thing that we can do with these terms is we can add one or more of them together to form an expression. So just as an example, I took the first three terms and I added them all together, and that there is called an expression. Well, you know something about this expression already. You've already learned that you can take 12 and you can add 12 plus negative 3. You know how to do that. You know that 12 plus negative 3 is 9, so why would we write it this way when we know that it can be simplified? So we can simplify 12 plus negative 3 plus x into just 9 plus x. And the mathematical way of saying what we just did is that we combined our like terms, 12 and negative 3, to make 9. So the question you might be asking now is, can't we just combine 9 with x? Well, as it turns out, 9 and x are not considered to be like terms, so you can't actually combine them together. The only terms you can combine are the like terms, and two terms are called like terms only if they have the same variables raised to the same powers. Let me explain that a little bit better with a couple of examples. So these are all examples of what we call like terms. Obviously from above, 12 and negative 3 were like terms because we combined them to make 9. 5x and 4x are like terms because they have the same variable, that's x, and it's raised to the same power. The power on x in each one of these cases is just 1. If we move down a bit, 2x squared and 8x squared are like terms because they have the same variable, that's x, raised to the same power of 2. So let's look at some examples of terms that are unlike terms. All right, here in red are some unlike terms. Uh, 9 and x from above we could not combine because the term 9 does not have an x in it. 3x and 5y are unlike terms because in this term there's an x, in this term there's a y. There's different variables. 2x squared and 2x look alike. They have the same variable, which is x, and they even have the same coefficient, which is 2. But the power on x here is 2, and the power on x here is 1, so they are not like terms. They're unlike terms. Okay, let's look at some expressions and see if we can simplify some expressions by combining like terms. Okay, the first expression I want to look at is 5x plus 7x. You'll notice that 5x and 7x are like terms because they both have the variable x raised to the first power. So how do we combine them? Well, I like to think of the variable, in this case x, as something, like uh, cats. If you have five cats and you add to that seven cats, what do you have? Well, I think you have a kind of a crazy person with a lot of cats. But that crazy person would have a total of 12 cats. As another example, how would you combine 4a minus a. Well, let's think of a as something like dollars. If you have four dollars and you subtract one dollar, remember there's a one coefficient in front of this, how many dollars do you have? Well, I believe you have three dollars. So 4a minus a is 3a. What if you have the expression 9y plus 6y plus 7? How would you combine like terms to simplify that expression? Well, this is a bit trickier because you'll realize First, that 9y and 6y are like terms because they both have a y in them. However, 7 is not a like term with the 9y and the 6y, so it can't be combined with these two. So the only thing we can do is ask the question, what if we had 9 of something and added 6 of that same thing? Well, we would be left with 15 of those things, but we still have this plus 7 here. Well, the plus 7 just has to be carried over. So we combine the like terms 9y and 6y to get 15y, and then the plus 7 just stays. One more example and then I'll be out of colors. This problem is a bit more complicated because the first thing you have to do is realize that 5x and negative 3x are like terms. But you'll also realize 
that positive 3 and positive 1 are, all, are like terms. So we're going to combine the 5x and the negative 3x. So if you have 5 of something and subtract 3 of that same thing, you're left with 2 of that thing. And then we have to look at the plus 3 and the plus 1. If you have 3 and you add to that 1, you're left with 4. So what we did there is we combined the like terms, 5x and negative 3x, to give 2x. And then we combine the like terms, positive 3 and positive 1, to give 4. Okay, I think that's good for an introduction for this video. Let's take a look at the combining like terms video quiz. There it is. Do those two problems, bring them to class. Good luck.